I think friends this is a perfect reply to the haters who have slotted down that India Bull Housing Finance Limited share because I think so the official clarification given by India Bull Housing Finance is very very good and it is about S Bank clarification and without wasting any time I think this is the moment for you to show the truth that has been given by India Bull Housing Finance Limited Management okay I will show it to you within a second friends and this is the official news that has been given by India Bull Housing Finance and what they are saying is that a clarification regarding on the term loans from S Bank okay there is a first point regarding say that because various media people are posting fake news against India Bull Housing Finance this is what we say from the first because News is very very important for people in the stock market. So all type of news is being spreading over the markets. The good thing is that the investor should find understand which is the good real news, which is the bad news because investment is because of money. So they don't waste your money, friends. That is the first point I need to tell. Okay, and the the first point they tell in relations to some rumors and misinformation the social media regarding the term loans of S Bank. to indel housing finance we would like to place the following in the public domain okay the outstanding term loans from s bank to india housing finance is zero okay first point is a perfect hit to the reply haters and the replyers okay the outstanding term loans from s bank to the promoter of india housing finance or any of promoters companies is zero so all is zero okay now what they trying to say is this the misinformation campaign on india housing finance has been orchestrated by black mailing okay black mailing and extortion of gang who we have dealing with past one year few members of this gang are in jail and few are absconding we are in the process of taking legal action on various media platforms various media platforms that the gang is been abusing to spread misinformation about the india bull housing finance that's why we always say to our friends or investors okay always believe the exchanges information because that is the real information and we are also sharing some informations but we take utmost care for selling the some telling some informations before we are saying to you and we also request you also to check this information is whether true or not and this is the real thing what they have given okay and this is giving the next point they giving is that while dismissing the application of kilash pandey a proclaimed offender or and the master mind of various public identification against the different courts again india bull housing finance the and the leader of blackmailing gang the horn recorded in order 2020 so this is what they are saying that because a group of investors has filed a public interest litigation against india bull housing finance this has been continuing for a year or 6 months or so okay so that is the main reason for yes I mean india bull housing finance to come down to a lot level down level because uh from 1000 rupees to 5 and 600 rupees due to the day one housing finance limited problems and from 500 to 100 rupees because of this public indication problem the share has been slotted down a lot because of this ill news and ill treatment that has been hovering around the market because of the shit things that is happening in the market okay i just want to clarify you things friends because i think so india bull housing finance is definitely placed at the point to accumulate please accumulate if you are planning to buy 100 shares buy part by part because the main problem now is that we don't know how the market is moving day by day because one day is the market is positive one day is second is negative when and once is corona virus impact it's going to be solved fully i think so there can be a sunrise and there can be a beautiful thing that can be seen in india housing finance limit okay so if you are planning to buy 100 shares or even 50 shares by 10 shares today by 10 shares tomorrow by part by part because when the share price comes down also you could be able to average your share price or if you if you do if you if you can take risk and buy fully then you can buy fully today so friends i think so there can be a possible breakout in india housing finance we can see today and there can be a upper movement that can be seen in today in india housing finance limited okay i think i will get my video in till now the in india housing finance limited and if i have in this video till now then make sure you click the subscribe button and leave any comments below regarding any shares so that we could be able to post a video about that also friends i think so this is from always about indian shares if a video is in now then make sure you share this video to your friends so they could also be able to get a knowledge about this friends thank you once again to all